Hi everybody, this is an Arcane Bombardment deck that wants to cram as many copies of Corrupt into this deck and under Arcane Bombardment as we can. Corrupt is a super fun card that's been reprinted in Brothers War, and it's great to just bonk your opponents over the head with a gigantic spell that does damage equal to the number of swamps we control. So let's take a look at how this works a little bit. As you can see with the mana base, I wanted every land in here to be a swamp. I wanted every land in here to contribute to that number of, on Corrupt, just going up, up, and up. Now, I wanted four in here because we can discard them to Electric Revelation and Big Score. Uh, getting them out kind of early under Arcane Bombardment. And we've got a couple of copies of Burn Down the House and Invoke Despair in here as well. Invoke Despair in here is mostly just some card draw. It's great to repeat under Arcane Bombardment. It's just a fantastic all-around spell, but it kind of decreased the numbers on those cards because the real star of the show here is Corrupt. These just kind of incidentally help out and do the job. Now there's some other fun ones in here, but I uh, want to talk about some of the permanents that we're using. I know that's kind of uh, frowned upon in some Arcane Bombardment circles, but they're pretty good in this shell. So we've got uh, Evolve Sleeper, for one, that can help us draw cards and draw some opponent's attention in the early game, as well as Riveteer's Requisitioner. Now, the Requisitioner kind of turns into a card draw spell later in the game, a three-mana sorcery that does three damage and then draws you a card and makes you a treasure. It's really, it, it wouldn't be terrible if it were printed just on an instant or a sorcery. Uh, but you can lay a few of these down uh, for their regular kind of two-mana cost, and it really gets in some early damage against control decks or anything Thing that's kind of slow like we are if we can get in some early incidental damage then that kind of lessens the number of corrupts that we need in the late game to finish somebody off now to get to the late game we've got a few copies of brotherhood's end which is a fabulous sweeper at the three mana position and clears out a lot of these soldiers and a lot of these like early aggro creature decks uh, which are really prevalent on the standard ladder right now if you look at some of the stats especially over on something like you know untapped a lot of these decks are running small creatures and really finishing games off fast, especially if you look at the time to complete some of these matchups. Uh, most of them are five minutes or less. So it's, a, it's kind of a fast time to be in standard right now, so you need some tools if you want to play with big, clunky, expensive stuff like I do. We're also running a few Shieldred because Shieldred is fantastic for getting us back in the game and pairs really well with all of our card draw effects that we've got going on here. So can't get away without including at least a few of those. Well, I love casting Corrupt on people, and it's great in that you can just win the game off of, you know, one or two copies of this if you've been kind of working on your opponent for the first several turns of the game. And Arcane Bombardment being able to pull this back up and reuse it that way, uh, games tend to not last very long once we get one of these under there. So uh, this was pretty fun to play. I really, I really enjoyed it. So anyway, let's get over and see some of these games on the ranked standard ladder, and we'll see how many Corrupts we can fit under an Arcane Bombardment. As usual, I'll be sticking with you for some commentary, but... Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. All right, I think we can deal with four lands. Got all of our expensive stuff right off the bat. Speaking of expensive stuff, nothing like starting the game off with three six drops in your opening hand. All right, opponent has sought and found a power stone, but they're not too fast, so we can afford to get our tap lands down right now. Hmm, opponent doing a little discard draw over there. And do a virus beetle for discard. All right, well, we can afford to pitch a bombardment now. Not too many black sources, so I'm not fearing the invoke despair from the opponent. That Stone Seeker is kind of interesting. It's kind of like a, a take on the uh, Requisitioner that we are running. Hmm. That's a card I would like to try, but it's got a huge bullseye on it. <laughs> kind of like the new the new Melding Urza. Nobody wants that card to live. Looks fun, though. I might have to try that. Opponent gets in for three and takes us down to 13, so we're going to need to start turning the corner soon. And burn down the house can certainly help with that. Though these creatures aren't too big, and invoke despair might just help us draw into something to do next. Let's discard corrupt. And the most important thing is to get bombardment down. Oh. Speaking of meld cards. 
Mishra. Well, let's wipe this board. I do like how the uh, Urza and Mishra meld cards kind of fit well with the thing they're supposed to meld with. It's often a kind of one turn after another type of thing. Bombardment is down. Opponent with one card left. Now is the time that we turn the corner. Brotherhood's end, in case they want to make more power stones, but let's, uh... I don't foresee them doing that. Let's Electric Revelation that away. Oh, we pick up Corrupt straight away. We will bonk the opponent for six damage. Gain six life there. I'd like to thank the local ambulance for choosing this moment to go right outside my window. <laughs> All right, it will corrupt again. Seven damage. Draw two lands here, but we know we can activate with Invoke Despair, so let's go ahead and do that. We pull up a burn down the house, and opponent's seen enough. Good game. A three lander with a requisitioner and some early interaction. This looks wonderful. There's bombardment. Let's just play the regular version of the requisitioner. Opponent cuts that down, but we still get a treasure. We could go with an early shield right here if we need to. Hmm. That knight does not play well with uh, Corrupt. But I think we're going to hang on to this treasure. And I think big scoring to try and get some more lands and work our way up to bombardment is probably what we need to do here. This opponent will pump it up and we'll take three. Hate to use this treasure, but big score, too good to pass up. Let's get Corrupt in the yard to pick up later with Bombardment. And we do get a couple of lands. Well, let's do the untapped land and straight into Bombardment now. Uh, we still have a cut down that we can activate Bombardment with next turn. Even if they decide to pump the knight up, it's no big deal. We just want to get the train running. Ooh, Ratadrabic, okay. Good card, but no other legends on board yet. Well, let's go with the untapped land so that we can shield it and cut down. And we'll do this now so they can't pump it up to save it. Alright, big score. We'll get rid of the tap land. And we get an invoke despair and a proving ground. Unfortunately, we gained no life because the knight was still alive when all that happened, but Shieldred is here, demands an answer. Well, that's a, that's a decent answer, so they'll cancel each other out. We can go ahead and draw. Second Shieldred, not going to do us much good. And I think we can just invoke Despair, mostly to draw the cards. Uh, they'll likely end up with a, a tiny shielded after all this is done. Yep, and if they haven't killed our shielded by now, they're not going to anytime soon, so let's just keep the one we've got. They'll cancel each other out. Sacrifice their copy. We get a couple of triggers because the token hasn't returned to play yet. And we've got our Corrupt ready for the future. Not sure we want a Requisitioner now, though. We don't really need the blocker. And if we need to burn down the house, well, yeah, <laughs> probably need to burn down the house now. Enough with the uh, then the Requisitioner wouldn't get much in, so we'll probably save that as a card draw. 
I've always hated clowns. All right, opponent can get in for five, and we'll take an additional two from the card draw. But we can use burn down the house here to activate arcane bombardment, clear the board, and start casting more spells. Excellent. We pick up a corrupt. Point that at the opponent's face. It'll only be for five, but we will repeatedly cast that in the turns to come. We'll discard a tap land, and we will cut down Shieldred as the last thing on the stack so that we can draw these cards without paying the life. Is it requisitioner time? I mean, this this will guarantee just draw us three cards. So I think I think let's do that. Excellent. So now, even if they get rid of bombardment, we could blitz in the requisitioner for possibly the last three damage, or we or just straight play corrupt. Archangel of Wrath. Looks like it's going to ping us for two, but nothing else, so we will corrupt to the face. And twice for good measure. Good game. This looks fairly keepable. We've got two lounges, a couple of shieldreds. And there's good old Arcane Bombardment. Just need to keep working our way up with our lands. So opponent looks to be on some kind of Rakdos, maybe. The Kappa Cannoneer Sleeves. The classic Tenacious Underdog opening. Well, let's cut this down now. Hopefully they're short on lands and won't be bringing this back next turn. It'll save us a little bit of life. Good time as any to get this tap land down. So we're all set for the amount of red mana that we need in total. And getting these tap lands down now means that we'll be in good shape to start corrupting when the time comes. Hmm, nothing from our opponent there. A little fishy. We'll cast our first Childred, but I imagine they've been saving some removal for something over there. I do like that they have added the uh, draw trigger on Shieldred, or rather the, the draw stop automatically, so if you have a response, you can respond to Shieldred. Ouch, opponent with an Invoke to spare. Well, we'll give him a couple of turns, make him wish they had saved that for a better target. <laughs> ah, Atsushi, okay. I wonder if there's a Junji, the black dragon, hiding over there as well. Let's pitch one of these. Couple of treasures. Another bombardment. Well, I think we've got enough mana. Let's tap land. We'll get Shieldred down. This way we can untap, play bombardment, and activate it immediately. We're not in a huge rush, they just have this one creature. If we can bait out another uh, Invoke Despair, that would also be good. Hmm. No cost is too great to quell my people's savagery. All right. Must be something pricey if they're not willing to draw it. So we pick up a land and a couple of life. 
Well, we can bombardment. We should have enough. Let's see. They can get treasures and exile cards. I think we're going to get in the attack here and see what they do first. They decide to block. That is fine. Kind of want to wait as long as possible before dropping this bombardment. Ooh. That's a spicy card. I like that. All right. Are you getting treasures or exiling cards? Opponent exiles a few cards. Looks like the way is clear for bombardment. Assuming there's no Invoke Despair left in hand. Uh, but they've got a Vampire to recast a spell or the uh, Elder Dragon War to probably just make a dragon against us. Let's see if they draw this time with Sorin. They do into Hero's Downfall. So definitely a little more of a maybe mid-rangey, control-y build over there. They've got a lot of removal in hand. Elder Dragon War. I'd be surprised if this doesn't go straight to two or three. <laughs> okay, just hitting us for two. Sure. And adversary, no mana left to trigger. Again, just waiting as long as possible here. We can afford to take this too. Anything else? All right, and a sleeper. And they'll put a, they'll make it a two-two. Just want to make sure they've got everything out on the board in case we happen to pick up a burn down the house or some targeted removal. We can take our pick of everything they've got. All right, let's cut down the sleeper since that can get bigger, and we don't want that. Ooh, Invoke Despair. That'll just clean things up really nicely here. If we cut down first, we will uh, get to draw a card off of that. Beautiful. We pick up our Tutor and a Corrupt. Alright, what do you got, opponent? We've got a pair of instants that we can activate this with on your turn. Taking a little time there. Opponent with a burn down the house. Alright, well, we're going to have to be careful not to get too low. Get this corrupt running as soon as we can, probably. Let's Revelation. And let's pitch this tap land. Okay, we pick up Invoke Despair. That'll net us another couple of cards. We can big score away this tutor since we've we've already got a corrupt. We've got a lot of good card draw set up for us under Bombardment already, so there's not too much we really need to go looking for. I think we're hanging up on a lot of these uh, blood token triggers, <laughs> giving our opponent every chance to respond to those, so it's making it take a little longer. It's the devil trigger at our face. Good call. We pick up Burn Down the House and Invoke Despair. Number two. Opponent looking for answers with the blood token. I wonder how many Invoke Despairs they're playing over there. Usually once you play the first one, it just happens to draw you into every single one after that. Well, this corrupt should be fairly large. Let's just uh, point it at your face. And we'll tutor for another one. <laughs> All right. Good game. We've got our geothermal bog. Three lands. Can't argue with that. Excellent. 
Let's get this Requisitioner down. Start applying some early damage and get a treasure out of it if they decide to remove it. Since we've got big score, we don't really need the card draw on it. And if it's any kind of slow deck, then could be good for anywhere from 3 to 9 damage altogether. Okay, opponent playing Shigeki. Now, that combined with the Otherworldly Gaze... Shigeki cannot stay alive, sorry. Uh, that combined with the Otherworldly Gaze... This feels a little bit like a combo deck, like they're just waiting to... Brilliant Restoration. It's probably one of the only reasons to play Otherworldly Gaze. Uh, it's like... It doesn't net you a card as a blue instant, so it kind of fails the... Ooh. Prototype Spotter Thopter, so they'll do some scrying. Um, but yeah, you don't really see the gaze unless it's trying to set up the graveyard for something big like a Splendid Reclamation or a Brilliant Restoration, something like that. Otherwise, it's just not its not a good card, especially when you've got something like Consider, which um, actually replaces itself in your hand. Let's see if they block here. They do, which is kind of surprising. Um, so we will take that treasure... I think, yep, let's do this. Conserve the treasure. Get Bombardment down while they are tapped out. And might as well get the Sleeper down too. We don't have any cheap spells to play, but assuming this survives, we can start the Corrupt Fireworks next turn. Alright, opponent with Spotter Thopter again. Oh, this could this could just use Invoke Justice instead of um, Brilliant Restoration. Could have both in there, but notice that every every land they've played so far produces white. Hmm. Our illicit shipment is here. We can go looking for other things to do, but I mean we've got corrupt. I don't think there's really anything else we need to be doing right now. Excellent. That thopter fits nicely under cut down. And we can corrupt for six. Get in for one. Threaten to activate bombardment and just finish them straight away with corrupt next turn. Oh no. Alright, well. White and its enchantment based removal gains them a couple of life. Looks like they will otherworldly glee otherworldly gaze again to set up that graveyard but luckily they haven't found much to pay off with well let's do this we could look for bombardment but one casting of corrupt i think we can get them low enough where that will finish the game especially if we get this proving ground into play and make the sleeper a little bigger we should be able to get them low enough where corrupt can do the job Okay, Seraph, that's good, but it can't attack right away, so no life gain. Land number eight, that should be enough. All right, Whew. good game. 